Hey everybody, this is Megan Jackson, the Meditech social media strategist, and welcome to another episode of Meditalks Live, where we talk to you face to face about online education, career training, and just what Meditech is all about. And today, if you've noticed, we have a very special guest, a remote guest, the very first time for a remote guest, and it's actually our social media instructor, Deltina Hay. So I'm going to let her introduce herself in a bit, but let me tell you really quickly um, that we will be having a Q&A session at the end of this discussion on social media, an in-demand and flexible career. So if you have any, just click that toggle button in the right-hand corner. It looks like a square with a bunch of squares in there, in the square. Um, and you can toggle between the showcase app, which I have up, as well as the Q&A app window to ask a question. So if anything pops up, just make sure you're in the Q&A app and you can ask those questions. So let's dive right on into this. Deltina, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hmm. Oh, thanks, Megan. <clears throat> you have such enthusiasm. I feel like it's a, <laughs> it's a tough act to follow. But I, I appreciate it. Well, my name is Deltina Hay. I've been uh, programming and um, doing database administration and uh, marketing and other businesses services for business for other businesses for nearly 30 years now. I've been programming for the internet since before Al Gore invented it and I've been <clears throat> teaching social media for about five to six years now. I wrote one of the first books on social media. I've written a couple books since then, one on the mobile web and one on search optimization. And I'm also a huge proponent of independent publishing. I had a small um, poetry and um, literary fiction publishing house here in Austin. And I still am a big supporter of it as the board chair of the Independent Book Publishers Association. Awesome. Man, That you just your whole resume, wow, it's amazing. So why don't we just talk a little bit in general if our, our whole topic today is social media and in-demand and flexible career. So I just wanted to start and dive into it in regard to what exactly social media is. So can you talk a little bit about what social media means and is it just posting, just like we do in our normal everyday lives, or what what does social media marketing mean beyond that, I suppose is my question. Right, well, yeah, I mean, I like to refer to it as social media marketing, as you said, as opposed to just social media. And <clears throat> social media is, I consider, kind of an, an ancillary skill um, on to you know regular business marketing and online marketing you know just like when the internet first came out many companies thought oh you know nobody's ever gonna buy anything on the internet for goodness sakes I don't need to be marketing my business on there and you know we, we learned very differently and so really what happened is with with social media as far as um, really you know open source blogging platforms and you know Facebook and and the the places that we know about now YouTube and and those tools that have introduced a lot of uh, authenticity and transparency to the web you know these are these are the tools of social media but social media itself really is about um, how people use the internet differently now and how they use it with an expectation of authenticity and transparency. And so in the beginning, we saw a lot of companies and businesses saying, oh, you know, that's just a fad and that's just going to go away. And, you know, my response to that has always been, well, you know, I, I just don't think so. I just don't imagine people waking up tomorrow saying, oh, well, I'm just going to settle for whatever Google serves me up on the Internet and, you know, not worry about, you know, any of the brands being human anymore. I just want right. to go back to the old days. So really it's about it's about a, a change in how people use the Internet and also about the tools of social media and in which that businesses can actually focus on reaching that new mentality. Right. And so I guess as far as how businesses can use social media and how that's actually grown, because you're talking about how businesses in the beginning just basically thought, you know, this is a fad, it's going to go away. But why do you think it hasn't gone away? What kind of um, specialty has social media marketing like fit in with businesses? What kind of um, extra oomph does social media marketing bring <laughs> rather than other forms of marketing? Oh, well, the big oomph is 
is in the brand's ability to humanize itself and to really reach customers on a very personal level and to build relationships with them, to engage with them, and also, you know, ultimately create brand advocates from them. And so this is another way in which social media really helps smaller businesses also because it's easier for smaller businesses to, you know, have that sort of human connection with people <laughs> than it is larger brands. So it's, it's really, you know, um, especially in the beginning, you know, really evened the playing field between that. But, you know, at this point, you know, I talk about a lot of things in the beginning. We're really past that, you know, it's a, fa it's a fad thing. You know, now we're really at a point where it's like, okay, this is not a fad, this is not going away, and now we absolutely have to have somebody in-house who knows how to do social media marketing, and not just as far as creating a page and posting a bunch of stuff to it, but how to really, you know, connect with and engage with people on social media, and also to use the tools effectively, not just on the surface, but to really know how they work um, from the inside out. Right. And I think that kind of bleeds into my next question because we're talking first like how social media can help businesses or brands themselves. How can social media help somebody else make themselves more marketable in their career endeavors or how can social media help people even if they're not necessarily going into the social media marketing sphere, you know, be successful? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's a good question. It's What's really interesting is if you look at LinkedIn does this this survey every year where it asks businesses and it also searches the the relevant skills that people have posted on uh, their recruiting sites for the most in-demand skill mm -hmm. and social media marketing has been at the top number one I'm not talking about number 10 you know we're in the top 10 I'm talking number one for the most sought after skill and it isn't only in social media it's across the board as far as you know any sort of marketing or PR or you know business business position that companies are looking for in their employees Right, definitely. And I mean, it's definitely because I feel social media is a way for you to represent the brand to your consumer base, essentially, like directly, correct? So I think that's actually one reason why people who aren't even going into social media, it's important for them to understand how to use it, because it may get to the point where you're, you know, at the exec level or mid-level manager position, and you need to have a social media presence because you need to have your customers be able to to reach you, essentially, correct? Yeah, 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 and that's a good point too. That that, and, and I think that a lot of the, you know, uh, executive or middle management or even upper management don't really even think that they need social media. And for the reasons that you pointed out, they do. They need to be able to humanize themselves in order to humanize the brand. They need to be able to connect with people. And you know, some of the other fields that that. Um, you might want to think about that that social media is really relevant to are any of the HR fields mm -hmm. you know job recruiting customer service sales marketing public relations um, you know even even uh, jobs like office managers and such you know are doing you know regular marketing for for smaller businesses and smaller offices so those skills you know put on a resume it's really going to help you stand out um, above the other people that are being considered for uh, the jobs that you're seeking. Right, because especially if you work at those smaller companies, those smaller mom and pop shops who need to set themselves apart from these larger corporations by humanizing themselves, they aren't probably going to have the budget to have like specifically a social media person. So if you're able to be you know, an office manager or some other position but have that social media background and be able to do that as well, that can certainly make you more marketable. So, Absolutely. Um, quick question, though. Let's. I wanted to kind of get more into the programs that we offer. Can you give kind of an overview of what, like we kind of talked about how social media is important, but what do you actually need to learn and how do our programs help our students learn those skills to be successful with social media marketing? Okay, well, there are, there are three programs. There's social media director, social media specialist, and social media assistant, or social media marketing director, specialist, and assistant. And at those three different levels, you could find one that 
could accomplish any number of tasks. Number one, if you were to become a social media director, this is really more of an advanced program that really prepares you to walk into a job, you know, as a social media director. You know, something like you're doing. You know, even though you're a strategist, really, you're kind of directing the social media, you know, what's going on in the company as far as, far as social media, helping with the strategy, and even implementing the tools and populating the tools. And then the specialist is, you know, maybe doing a lot of those same things, but maybe just not at, um, at that level. And so you're really not doing things like uh, getting into the back of tools and integrating them or setting up auto automation plans and such, but you're still really getting to know the tools in and out and, and you know, learning how to, to set up blogs and effective business pages and such and integrate them. And then the assistant is really more of, we talked about, like the office manager position, where it's somebody who, who is in an office that maybe doesn't have its own marketing department, but they need somebody who, who knows something about social media more than just, you know, how to tag people on Facebook, you right. know, who really understands social media marketing from a business perspective and how to use it accordingly. Right, or it's even for those people who are maybe self-employed or have their own businesses, correct? Because obviously yes. you need to have a social media presence if you're, you know, for instance, a, um, a fitness trainer or something like that. Your ability to show yourself out there rather than just focusing on word of mouth is definitely something that you may want to consider. So mm -hmm. yeah. let's kind of get a little bit more detailed. Is there Are there particular platforms that you focus on in these courses more than others, or is it generally an equal weight between all of them? Well, I focus on, oh, for the director program, you know, there are seven modules in all, and throughout those modules I focus on uh, blogging and Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, YouTube, and then, you know, some other ones in there, Google Plus certainly, and then some other, some other media communities and so forth uh, kind of peppered in there. But one of the things that I really try to focus on is not, not the platforms themselves as much as, as um, how, to, how to apply optimization techniques and integration techniques and automation techniques um, throughout all of them. Though, you know, the courses or the modules really do cover all of these tools in depth, it really is about, you know, even if a new tool surfaces and you say, oh, this is a this is a tool about, you know, image sharing, about video sharing, about something else. And I know how to do that because I know Twitter inside out or I know Pinterest inside out. And so it, it, it's kind of a, a broad coverage of that. Um, and the, like I said, the director's program has all seven modules, which also includes a few advanced modules in search optimization, mm -hmm. social media optimization, and then the... Um, the specialist program includes uh, blogging and social networking and media communities like YouTube and such. And then the specialist or the assistant program, I'm sorry, only has the uh, blogging and WordPress and then also the social networking modules. Right. And so I guess I'm wondering for those who maybe don't understand like some of the social media jar jargon or the digital marketing jargon, can you talk a little bit more about what you mean by social media optimization or search optimization? Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, first of all, you, you, need, you really need to start with the tools or we start really for the overall concept. You know, what is social media and you know, what is blogging, what are social networks, that sort of thing. And, but then you know, then we go in very specifically to the tools themselves. How do you use the tools? You know, how do you use them effectively? How do you engage on them? How do you integrate them with some of the other, like your blogs and other, and other places you might be online and your website and so forth? And then, you know, beyond that, we start talking about things like, okay, now how do we really dig in and optimize these tools, not only so they work well together, but so that we can optimize the content we're putting on them so right. that people can find it easier, um, engage with it easier. And then search optimization anymore it's really difficult to separate social media and search optimization right. from each other because everything's so you now in mesh now and so I do talk a lot about search optimization especially as it applies to social media tools so when people are searching within those tools or are searching outside for content you know how can you make certain that that what you're putting within the tools is going to be um, easier to find in search right definitely and I think also 
I, th I think people don't realize the amount that social media actually affects your op search optimization for your website, for instance. So mm -hmm. you being able mm -hmm. to kind of develop a social media strategy that really showcases and links back to your website can really mm -hmm. help your rankings, for instance, on Google. So it's like there's no point in you having a site if when you search on Google you can't find it, right? So that's why social mm -hmm. media is like such a key puzzle or a piece to that puzzle. Mm -hmm. um, so can you talk a little bit more about maybe how the course is set up? Like, is there, are there demos or is it more, I guess I'm wondering how interactive it is or is it video based, et cetera? Mm. Well, they're, they're either screencasts or slides that I do voiceover on. So mostly it's video and I do like a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to use the tools. I actually go in and you know show them settings and features and how to use them, how to set them up, then ultimately how to optimize them right. and how to integrate them you know, or with, with other tools, connect with them with other tools. And so really it's, it is about most, it is mostly video. There are some suggested activities that people can go and do and then there are quizzes at the end of each video, final exams at the end of each module. And so far, I, you know, I've gotten some really good feedback from students that say everything's really clear. I just ace the exam because, you know, right. you explain things so clearly. So that's a relief to know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but also, I guess I'm wondering. Um, oh, I just lost my question. Um, <laughs> I was wondering in regard to the actual. Oh, what was I going to say? Um, sorry, guys. Uh, oh, I was talking about job prospects. Sorry, that's mm -hmm. what I was mm -hmm. wanting discuss. Um, can you talk a little bit about the maybe the job prospects or the outlooks for these types of positions you know projected out into the future and do you feel like this is something like you said it was essentially thought of as a fad but we know it's going to stay here so what are kind of the job prospects on a more numerical basis? Yeah, there are, you know, it's definitely in demand and I, I did some research on this and found that your know, social media director or manager is another another term for that uh, and can typically earn between like $80,000 and to $100,000 and th there's um, a lot of demand for them, especially with larger companies right. or, and also with startups, a lot of demand for startups. Yeah. And then the, then the, the strategist positions you're looking at um, in between say like uh, 40 and 70,000 or the, uh, the specialist and then the assistant is uh, more down, down, down into uh, 17 to 25. But again, those are, those are skills more than career at the specialist level mm -hmm. that, that people are looking for. And right. then also with the, with the strategist, one of the things that I did research were um, intern positions, and this was really interesting, how there are like 200 times more social media intern positions than there are marketing positions out there mm -hmm. if you look at intern intern sites and these are positions that are you know will turn into paid positions mm -hmm. you know become become an intern and I think that one of the reasons why there are so many intern positions is because there are so few people with the skills right. out there right and mm -hmm. so you're really looking at, you know, stepping over that and going, I already have the skills. And I have a certificate under my belt. And, you know, so I really am in a better position to step right into one of those positions. Right. And I feel like that certification also is kind of that umph you need to prove that you have these skills. Because some people, they apply for social media positions and they just think, oh, yeah, I can do that. It's easy. And it's like, no, you have to understand the, strategi the strategization behind it and having that certificate and going through this program will actually prove to employers that you've mm -hmm. learned this strategization. You know what I mean? So, yep. but I did yep. want to ask you, mm -hmm. oh, go ahead, sorry, don't No, I, no, go ahead. I go wanted ahead. to ask you in regard to, um, you know, you were saying that you were kind of, when you introduce the platforms, you show kind of the basic elements of it. Do you think that these programs are for people who maybe, you know, don't really have a, a social media presence outside of maybe Facebook and posting with their families? Like, do we give enough range um, or do we give enough backup to where people can understand, you know, from beginning to end how to actually use the platform and then how to use it effectively, essentially? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I definitely don't make any assumptions when I start it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, you know, I'm start. It's 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 kind of a, a tricky thing to to teach a class where I know where a lot of students are going to be familiar with it, and a lot of them aren't. Mm -hmm. But I think I do a pretty good job of you know starting from the beginning. You know, here's where you need to start, and then talking about it really from a business perspective. So even if somebody has or a marketing perspective, even if somebody has experience with the tool, they really may not be be using it. You know, kind of framed in that way. Mm -hmm. So when I start from the beginning, it's like, you know, what are your goals? A number one, you know, because I talk about that with all tools. Right. You know, what you know, what are the goals that you want to accomplish? You know, make certain you're clear on that. And you know, talk about branding and consistent branding and optimization. So so yeah, you definitely don't need to already know anything about the tools before you start. Right. Definitely. And one thing I did actually want to bring up was the fact that even if you're maybe not thinking about going into the marketing sphere or even if you're not really getting a job where you have to kind of have those skills on top of whatever other position that you're working, I found that social media marketing and having these skills was actually very helpful for me in my job search because I was able to basically brand myself as you know, an education social media expert or whatever. So if you're mm -hmm. able to like mm -hmm. learn how to create a blog or learn how to, you know, effectively manage your social media presence, you can brand yourself as, you know, what is something that somebody would want to do? Like the most expert office manager or the best <laughs> like IT person or something like that. And that would also, you know, allow um, I guess a larger surface area for potential employers to kind of interact with you even after the interview so they can get a better feel for kind of the person that you are and what you can really bring to the company essentially. Have you found that to be true as well, Deltina? Oh, absolutely. And, and I mean, I, I even talk about that in my LinkedIn module. I do talk about, you know, making certain that you, you know, that you are, you know, beefing up your profile as much as your company page, but also that, yeah, that you can brand yourself very effectively in the eyes of employers. And um, on the flip side of that, you, I talk a lot about how, you know, I tell people flat out, if you, do, if you don't want something to be published in a public newspaper, do not put it on a social media site. Right. Do not put it on a social networking site. You know, so I do talk a lot about um, about ethics and you know digital ethics. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, as well. You know, throughout the entire the entire program because those things are really important. And you know, a lot of people are learning the hard way now that they're the things they did in college that are up online forever or haunting them right. in their job search. And I've definitely just from keeping up with what's going on in education and online education here for Meditech is hearing more about how your social media presence can affect like getting into college. And if it affects you getting into college and those people are looking at your profiles, of course employers are going to be doing that too, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but what I'm going to go ahead and do, it looks like we're running a little bit out of time, so I'm going to actually open up to the Q&A. So if you want to open up that Q&A chat box, you just go to the, um, I think it's the right hand of your screen, there's a toggle button that looks like a square with a bunch of squares in it, and then you click the Q&A button. Um, but if you have the Showcase app, which is right to the right of your screen right now, it should be, you can actually find some really interesting links, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them while y'all are thinking of your questions. But the first one, if you want to hear a little bit more about our social media um, courses and the three that uh, Deltina just talked to us about, the assistant, the specialist, and the director position, you can click on that link and it takes you directly to those three courses. Um, as well as our YouTube channel is the second posting, so if you want to subscribe and keep up with Meditalks and hear, you know, all the conversations that I have with our admissions advisors and our instructors, they live on there. So if you want to learn more about Meditech, that is where you should go. And then also the very last link on the Showcase app on the right side of your screen is the Speak with an Admissions Advisor. So if you're interested in the social media programs, definitely click that button and we will, you know, just ask you a few questions, your name, your email address, and your phone number, and let us know that you want to get a chat from one of our admissions advisors and they'll give you a call shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to our Q&A app, open that guy up, and if anybody has any questions, go ahead and ask them. So, and sometimes the Q&A app is a little messed up, so I'm going to give people a few moments 
But um, Deltina, I did also want to kind of get a little bit more of your background in regard to um, your independent publishing. Does that, um, I wanted to see how that kind of overlapped with your social media background. Is that kind of something that you got in contact with because of social media or is there, is that just like a separate passion? No, actually it was the other way around. Oh, um, really? I, I started uh, publishing here in Austin when I first moved here and um, was really planning on not being a programmer, a computer programmer, a geek anymore. I decided I wanted to you know, kind of explore the other side of my brain and so I, I went to graduate school for psychology and um, started doing uh, literary publishing and that was you know just you know something I kind of fell into but there was so there's so much talent here in Austin that it really did take off and so I what happened then is that in my research online and discovering blogs, this is way back in the beginning, and realizing just how beneficial they would be to authors themselves, ended up just you know becoming a geek all over again and tapping in and creating blogs for myself and for all of my authors and getting to know RSS feeds, was, which was the backbone of the web way back then, and suddenly just knew almost you know more about it than anyone and started doing webinars and writing books on it and so forth and so really you know I think you know I think the, the lesson here is once a geek always a geek you know <laughs> and never say never um, but yeah, it really, you know, it it, it really, was really exciting because it did um, um, it kind of renew my faith in what we used right. to call in the early '90s the open web. Right, you I know? got you yeah. definitely. No, I can totally see that. So we actually have a few questions in, and one is from Miguel. Are these programs uh, supplements to a degree, or can you get a job simply with the certificate? Oh, you could definitely get a job just with a certificate. Um, yeah, you know, again, you know, I think we talked about, you know, the different levels of jobs that you could receive. But yeah, I would definitely say that you'd be getting enough training because the the modules or the programs don't only have um, the social media modules. They also have quite a few of the business modules also, mm -hmm. like uh, Microsoft Office and some leadership training and so forth. So you really want to go in there and dig around and look at each of the modules and the programs because it can prepare you for any number of uh, good jobs out there. Right, and definitely. But I mean, I think also if you do actually have a position right now or if you have a degree and need this to supplement, that can also be another route that you want to take. It's really just flexible mm -hmm. and it seems like a lot of people who maybe already have a job or something like that could use the program in order to kind of beef up their skills, um, especially mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. companies themselves are are getting more active on social media. They may require that of some of their employees oh, that they didn't yes. require before. So, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Um, the only experience I have with social media is my personal Facebook account. Will I be prepared to take one of these programs with that amount of experience? Mm, yeah, absolutely. And I, I think we talked about that earlier. As far as, you know, I don't assume anything. You know, I assume that you at least know that these places exist, you know, but I still kind of, you know, talk about the history and what they are and really pretty much start at the beginning, you know, as far as here's how you start, you know, creating a Facebook page from scratch for a business. Definitely. No, I completely agree. So, and then um, next question, it kind of expands off of it, and I think we can go a little bit more in regard to the actual modules within the courses. Uh, what courses would you recommend to start off taking to get started in social media? So I think it may, it, you can actually start off with any, any of the three, it, depending upon how in-depth you want to go into, but I guess my question kind of to bounce off of that is what kind of skill do you think you should focus on first to develop in these courses if you haven't really done a lot of social media stuff in the beginning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I pretty much always start with blogging mm -hmm. and the reason I do that is because I think it is something a little bit more intuitive for people mm -hmm. as far as being able to write and write in an article way, you know, an article form. And also it's one of the things that that it is great to already have in place when you start creating other social media um, accounts and setting them up because it's so easy to integrate them with the blog. So I think a blog is a great introductory way, you know, into social media if you know if you want just uh, some exposure initially. 
Right, because that's actually where all of your content would be housed, basically, that you would be sharing on social media, essentially, right? So you got to have mm -hmm. a blog. Ideally. Really, yeah, ideally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, that's how you're going to do it. Okay, I'm going to keep, I'm going to see any other questions. We're going to wrap up if we don't have any more. Let me give it a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to leave it off there. But thanks, everybody, for joining today. I wanted to definitely say thank you very much to Deltina for joining us and being my first remote guest. Very exciting. I'm glad that my this honor. And didn't, didn't explode <laughs> or anything. If you all have any questions, like I said, you can choose um, some of those links on the right side in the Showcase app. Or you can always meet us on Google Plus or on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter and give me a shout out there and I would love to help you. On Facebook, we're just simply Meditech and on Twitter, we're Meditech Tweets, just FYI. But other than that, thank you very much for joining and thank you, Deltina. It was lovely and I'm going to leave you all there. Thank you very much. Have a great day.